tell you're just bad. I'm just looking over the Good morning. Welcome to Marathon Mondays with Mal. We are back. We are going to look at coach number 1269 uh, today for the third time. We saw 1269 in episode two of Marathon Mondays. We saw it uh, with um, Al Christensen in the design area. Then we saw it in episode five with Brett Fuller as a shell over here across the production floor. And now we're gonna see 1269, which is an H32 slide with my man Dave Bash as it just came out of paint and started production. So everybody, we didn't plan the shirts, but I love the shirts. Okay. He came from one side of town, I came from another. We didn't coordinate this, but it looks <laughs> awesome. Second time we've done it on Marathon Mondays. Anyway, we got Dave Bash in here. We're gonna go through uh, 1269 and take a look at where we are in production, talk a little bit about the paint, and uh, we're gonna try and follow Marathon coach number 1269 throughout its life. Okay. We've seen it uh, at the very beginning before it even got here. We saw it as a shell and now uh, we're gonna see it uh, when it just came out of paint about a week and a half ago. And uh, so let's check it out. Dave, um, let's, do you wanna start with the bays or do you wanna start down here? Well, we got behind the front bumper here is where the, the horns and the, the air tank for the house side and for the generator radiator go back in here we got lines coming down in there now there are customizations you can make to this area there are but basically you still get the radiator for the generator and the horns and basic stuff in there okay good deal a lot of times they'll put customers like those big real train yes horns. yes those will go in there but <laughs> normal horns that'll will wake you too. up yeah and if you guys have any uh, comments or questions we've got Mickey with us today so if you've got any questions uh, she's watching so feel free to comment or ask any questions as we move along. All right. Bay number one. Normally the storage bay, but there's a few things that go in there, but bay number two is where most of the electrical components go. Lots of... Lots of wire drops wire there. Wire drops. And James, I don't know if you can tuck in here and see, the wires are coming right down. We've got 110 wires. And we've got low voltage wires, 12 volt. We've got all the ethernet cables. A lot of wires in here. There's a lot of electrical boxes that go in here. And then we've got some AV stuff that goes in this compartment here. More wire drops. Okay. The third bay back is behind that wall is the fuel tank over here. And then we've got the death tank. The new Volvo engine coaches have the DEF in them. It's a 16 gallon DEF tank. And what's that for, Dave? Diesel exhaust fluid is DEF. And it just, it helps the emissions on the coach burn hotter and cleaner. So, that all gets covered up. The TV also goes in there. All right, I think we're buffering a little bit. Mickey was just telling me that we are uh seen some technical difficulties again here okay. so um, are we back up I think it's it still says it's buffering so should we just keep going yeah let's just keep going so the wiring in here how how seven miles of wires what's going on in here? five to seven it depends on the options that the coach has okay but, uh, yeah, with all the electrical components that we've been doing in the coaches, the wire wiring has gone down, but you can still see there's quite a bit of wiring. Okay. Especially inside the coach. A lot of these wires that are dropping down on the base here are coming from inside, of course. Gotcha. Because you've got controls in there. Now, while we're on this side, let's take a look at the paint. It's kind of hard because the bay doors are open, but wanted to show everybody this paint job. These, uh, these lines that run through the side of the coach 
Pete Sutton designed this paint job to directly correlate to what's going on inside the coach or what will be going on. There are some tiles that have this design in it and Pete designed the outside to look exactly like what the tiles are going to be on the inside. This is an Al Christensen designed interior. So I'm anticipating we're going to see a elephant at some point in there. <laughs> All right. Got the plumbing bay here. The three tanks are in place. And they're doing some of the plumbing for the, the black and gray valves and the grain valves. So we're using these new sensors on the side of the tanks. They're proximity detectors. They work really well. They're very accurate and have very low fa failure rate on them. Okay. So if anyone's having any trouble watching this, because I know several people are commenting that it's buffering, we are going to post it right after we get done. Uh, for some reason, we're having Wi-Fi issues here. It's probably the building, uh, and that's something that we can't avoid, but we are looking into uh, figuring out a way to get our Wi-Fi stronger so that we can still bring it live, because that's the purpose of the show. All right, Dave, what do you got going here? Here we have where the house batteries will go. There's six big 4D batteries that'll go in this compartment, plus the generator battery will go in here. And this is just where they, all the wires get hooked up for the batteries, house batteries. Okay. What do you call this? What do you call this bay? It's not really a bay. What do you? Well, that's for the scale? chassis. The main thing in here for me is the chassis batteries are in there. Sure. That's they're on the bottom, and on these new coaches, they are the new. They're like the glass mat batteries. You, these are special batteries, and the charging system for the coach is geared specifically for these batteries. You can't just replace them with any lead acid battery. Okay. They're special batteries. And that's for the new coach. That's for the new coaches. Okay. The new Volvo chassis. Um, you've just got chassis electronics in here, but the main thing is the chassis batteries. Okay. So you could call that the chassis battery compartment. Compartment. Yeah. Okay. Then back here. We were going, talking about this this morning. That is the new. Uh, heat box that for the the new electric heater box for okay. the, the chassis stuff. You've also got in there the uh, chassis charger box right there on the sidewall behind the power steering fluid. But this is also where we put that S bar, the 12 volt heat system we put on board the coach. Sure. You've got your chassis start studs there if it has to be jump started for any reason. 500 horsepower Volvo. That's correct. What's the torque horse? again? 1,750 foot-pounds of torque on this engine. It's 100 foot-pounds more of torque than the Detroit's that we were using, with 15 horsepower less. So, and I even had a customer comment this morning that the new Volvo engine is much quieter than the, the engines we were using before. The Detroit diesels? Yeah. Okay. Not that the Detroit isn't a good engine, it's, it's a great engine, but this is just a little bit physical. According to quieter. that customer, it was just a little bit quieter. Well, I've noticed it too. It's oh, one okay. of the things I like about the engine. It's, it's a quieter engine. Oh. So. All right, over on the driver's side. This is all the radiators we got. We got at least three or four different radiators in here for different things. Dave, why don't you explain what's going on with this up here? Well, that's the exhaust up there. This, these new coaches have roof exhaust on them. So instead of coming out down below here anymore, it just goes up the side. If that door opens up, you got access to the, the muffler on the coach. So that's what we got going there. Okay. Going around here. How's it going, Jose? Okay. This is the other side of that plumbing bay where we got the tanks and then the sewer hose is operated here too. What goes in this spot here will be the water heaters and some other electronics, of course. And the new coaches, the 
the short coil on them is much longer than they used to be. So why is that? People like that a lot longer. Yeah. People like long short coils. Sure. They don't have to use extensions. And it is nicer, so. And the coiler will be in here? No, the coiler's right that oh. plastic bucket right there. Here it is. He's working it in right now. So he's yeah. coiling that up right he now. He was just, we had more out than we needed, so he's just coiling some extra excess up there. Go ahead. And in this compartment is where the inverters go. So right besides over the, the short cord bucket there, where the short cord goes, you've also got the water hose reel up there. That's a 50 foot water hose, comes out here. But you've got the inverters that go in this compartment here. Okay. And along with the house disconnects, or the inverter disconnects, and the, the uh, inverter bypass switches also go in there. All right. So, next bay over, this is where the generator goes. All that metal in there closes that off, and then we put also sound deadening material in there too. So now our generators are always on uh, an access slide out for maintenance. Yeah, it's on a slide out, so you can pull it out to do the engine service on it. Okay. Do that every 150 hours. That's I'm but, sure very uh, helpful. Oh yeah, people like the old service of generators. And then you just got the other two compartments here. This is the main storage, but you've got a bunch of electrical components that go in here too. Okay. So, well, should we go take a look inside? Sure. Let's go. go uh, ahead. Let's go walk up in here. Once we're up here, you can kind of see right here the uh, awnings. Get a closer look at those. So what's going on on top right now, Dave? On top of the coach? Yes. Well, they've already cut the holes for the ACs to go on, the fantastic fan. They've already mounted the awnings up here. Those awnings have those lights in there. So uh, all the antennas that go on the coach, the satellite dishes, there's two different satellite dishes we put on. All right, we don't want to get too much in these guys' way. We're just going to walk right through here. You can see along the bottom here, the wire chase, where all the wires, not all of them, there's more up in the ceiling too, but there's it's a, a bunch of wiring. wiring in there. Over here also. How are you doing, Greg? Doing good. good. On back here, you can see this big coil of wires here. The A3 panel here is the hub of all the electronics in the coach. There's electronics scattered throughout the coach. There's some on the wall over there too. But this is the main the main board in the coach right back here. Bed frame's already in here? Well, the slide out frame, that's where we're, we are gonna mount the uh, bed onto. You've got the motor that moves this room in and out. There it is. There's a whole bunch of wiring that goes to this board back here. Mostly lighting, well, a lot of controls for the whole coach. All right. also throughout the coach and then we got plumbing lines over here because this is where the shower and toilet that area is going to be so excellent well let's head out the front yeah. Greg thanks for letting us invade your space oh, not a problem always a pleasure <laughs> you can see here also all the the stock dash panels from Prevo have been removed because we use some of their their covers, we take them out and cover them with leather to match the rest of the interior of the coach. But this is how it looks, bare bones. All the electronics from Prevo, and then we add ours also. There will be a TV frame that goes up here that holds the flip down TV, and all the rest of the controls here. Windshields will be changed out. Yeah. Right. 
Well, so for those of you who hung in with us through our buffering Wi-Fi issue, uh, thank you so much. And uh, big thanks to Dave Bash as we took a, a quick look at 1269. It's kind of in a, in a state of early production, wouldn't you say? Yeah, oh yeah. Just came out of paint about, uh, about a week and a half ago, came out of the paint booth. Uh, where it spent uh, 23, 24 days. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're gonna probably check back with 1269, you and I will, in a couple of weeks, sure. uh, depending on your schedule. Okay. Uh, we'll borrow you for another Monday. So make your comments uh, on Facebook and YouTube or email me directly at malw at marathoncoach.com. Once again, thanks to Dave Bash <laughs> and uh, sure. with the matching shirts uh, here at Marathon. Have a good Monday, everybody. See you next Monday.